Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET tutorial. Now we are at the final part of the sub-series and in this video we will show the selected title ID in the label control. We already placed this label control. We will set some of the properties and then when a user picks a specific book here in the list box, we will display the ID for the book in the label control. All right, now let us. Uh, display the title id of the selected book here is our asp.net project and we already placed this label control let's uh, assign a four color All right. Let's pick this control and choose property. Auto post box is fast. We will set it as true. Now, whenever you pick user picks an item, it will post the data to the web server. So we can have a chance to handle the selected index changed event because it is posting back the data for the selection change right whenever user picks an item it will do the post back and we can handle the event and let's look at the property for this label and set a name ID LBL selected ID and that's the ID we are setting for this one for this uh, label now we will access that property so we need to know the name of this control so list box one selected value that's all now we can run it so now both the controls are picking the data or pulling the data from the sql server database this one we bind this control at design time to our sql data source and this combo box we bind this control at runtime right now we set auto post back for this uh, list box control and we are handling the selected selection change the event as well so whenever you pick an item that will get reported in this label right so that's the id for this one is anger the enemy the id is ps20291 just to verify title underscore id so here is anger the enemy ps2091 so our form is working well ps2091 right you can use the same technique for this combo box as well
at present it is not doing any auto post back and if you handle you can uh, uh, report the book id remember when we configured the controls we set display field as well as associated value that's why here when we are asking for selected value it is picking the title id and giving it to us for list box one we already configured that right i mean for the data source we already configured that I mean, for this uh, list box, right? Title ID is the display, and associated value is title ID, right? That's why when we ask for selected value, it is giving title ID, right? And we are setting that to our label. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.